today I'm super excited. We're going to be digging into a new brand. It is Wash Day. So I'm going to be trying Madam by Madam CJ Walker for the first time. Super excited. My scalp is actually, I haven't washed my hair in like the last, I think it's like a week now, honestly. So <laughs> this needs to be dealt with immediately. I have lately been all about making my wash days and whole entire vibe though. Like it's like just my favorite kind of reset day, wash off any kind of stress, anxiety from the past, however long, week, couple days, whatever, and just start over, look good, feel good, and we are back to get back on it. You know what I mean? So we're gonna first start by lighting this new candle that I also received. This is the Replica Bubble Bath Candle. Y'all, this smells so good. Boom, yes, 100%, the beginning to a successful wash day, right here. Much better. So wash day is literally a vibe, no longer a chore, more like a privilege, more like something I look forward to. Also before we do jump in, I do, so I had like this crazy pimple right here that left a dark spot and this one that's still under the skin, just trying to like stick around and like won't leave me alone. So I'm gonna do some exfoliation. The side of my face, by the way, update is doing so well. Um, but yeah, I'm still like fighting with this and this, so I'm gonna do a quick exfoliating treatment and then we're gonna jump into our wash. So what I'm gonna use is this exfoliating treatment by You To The People. This is actually my first time trying this. I purchased this a long time ago and I don't know why it's taken me so long to try it. Apparently it's amazing. So it says just to apply a nice even layer to clean damp skin, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it has little scrubbies in there. I did not know that it was a physical exfoliator. I thought it was just chemical, but it looks like it's both. I'm gonna do a little extra scrubbing in my problem areas. <laughs> Exfoliating is so good for your skin. It just helps to remove dead skin cells. And if you are like me and you also have dark spots, this is how you can help to get rid of your dark spots quicker. You do wanna make sure that you don't over exfoliate. So make sure you're not doing something like this every single day because then that can cause more bumps, more dark spots, and that's not the situation you want. It's so easy to think like, oh, it's fully, it's fully, it's fully, but you don't wanna do that, so. So while we let this sit, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the shower. Okay, so Madam CJ Walker, super excited. One of the first things I noticed on their packaging, it all says like, all the products have listed, no sulfates, parabens, silicones, drying oil, or mineral oil, which made me very happy because I didn't have to spend time Looking through the entire ingredients list, I just felt like all of my no's are already not included in here. So we love that. So here I have their Revive and Reset shampoo, which looks really interesting. It seems like more watery than a traditional shampoo. Am I tripping? I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm actually really excited to dig in. This is what we are starting off with, y'all. Some old hair. I started back the gym this past week, so there's a sweaty scalp up in there. These curls are... <laughs> A mess, it's, yeah, it's time. Also, side note, y'all, I think I'm ready for a new shape. I think it's about that time. We're gonna have to snip snip again because, yeah, I'm just ready for something different. I mean, I haven't worn my bangs forward in so long. I wonder if we should do that today. I feel like they'd be too long, though. At this point, they're pretty grown out. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the side swoop for today, but yeah, I'm getting kind of bored again, y'all, but you know what that means. All right, so I sectioned my hair in half. So let's dig into this shampoo. Oh no, it's like a regular textured shampoo. I don't know why I thought it was watery, but it's nice and creamy. It feels good. It almost feels like a gel to foam type consistency. What I usually like in a shampoo is one that is both cleansing but moisturizing, non-stripping. Like I don't like for my hair to feel super dry afterwards. And also one that I can detangle my curls with. And so far, it's looking pretty good. I don't know, I don't think that I care very much for the scent of the shampoo. It just smells... I can't even put a finger on like what it smells like. It's not like anything fruity. It's not like it's over fragrance. It's just the actual scent itself. I'm not like overly excited about. But the way it's working in my curls and filling in my curls is feeling really good. While I'm shampooing, y'all, do we need to talk about my YouTube hiatus? <laughs> Cause I just kind of slid right back in here. Like, hey guys, I'm back. Um, but yeah, I did take some time off, the longest amount of time I have ever taken off since I started YouTube, like what, four and a half years ago? Took a month and a half off and it was really needed, honestly. If I'm being 
straight up and transparent with y'all all these new social media platforms and the way social media has changed has been really hard for creators because it's a lot to juggle especially creators who are trying to make sure that they are still showing up on every platform because that's that's the whole thing all right i would love to be okay just saying like, okay, no, I'll just stick to my one platform and that's fine. But I just feel like you gotta stay up to the times. You gotta, you gotta put yourself out there in order to be seen and to reach more people. And, and it's just been a lot, especially the sharing of video content on every single platform now. Every single platform has stories. Every single platform has short-term video content. So it's like, when do we catch a break? And how do I know now what type of videos to put out on each platform? Because you know what? I, it would be great if I could just say, you know what, I'll put the same video content on every single platform, but like, where's the value for y'all in that? You know what I mean? I wanna give y'all fresh content that's like somewhat new for the most part and like kind of tailored towards like each platform, because each platform is a different vibe. YouTube fam is different from my TikTok fam, which is also different from my Instagram fam, you know? So it's just been a lot. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself, and so I feel like I just needed a break. So yeah, on my hiatus, I kind of just focused a little bit more on Instagram, and then also I'm really trying hard to build my TikTok, because I genuinely enjoy the community over there and the vibe over there. I just really love it. So if you aren't following me on TikTok, if you want to see a more like raw, unedited version, fun version of myself, go ahead and follow me on there. But yeah, so I was able to focus more on those platforms and then also just kind of get my mindset right. I have a lot going on personally as well as uh, business-wise as well. There are some things I'm working on and it's just, it's just been a lot. And I'm the type of person to put a lot of pressure on myself. I'm a perfectionist, so it was just... It was a lot. So I was actually really proud of myself for saying, you know what, take one thing off your plate so that you will be able to excel in the places that you need to excel in. But y'all, I'm back because I was like, and I got over 60,000 subscribers that are just sitting down waiting for me to come back. I've been seeing some of your DMs on Instagram, like when are we coming back to YouTube? So I am here and I really did miss y'all. So I am really excited to be back. Yeah, I do have some exciting things like happening and coming up. Right now I am working on a website rebrand. So that's a whole other entirely separate platform that it's gonna be like my main platform where I know y'all, you know, some of y'all are subscribed to my site and everything, but I wanted to really dramatically level up. Like I'm actually going through a level up phase in my life. I'm 27 turning 28 soon. So I don't know, I just feel a shift happening in me. There's a fire burning in me and I feel like I'm about to step into a whole new era of myself, but not a new era, but like stepping into more of who I am, you know? Like deeply, more deeply of who I am. Like for years I kept saying, I need to, I need to change, I need to be better, I need to be this whole new person. And more recently I'm like, wait a minute, I actually don't need to change. I do not need to stress myself about being somebody new. I just need to be the more authentic version of myself and that's it. I just need to be more who I already am, you know what I mean? And so that was super freeing and that's kind of where I'm at right now. We are leveling up and I am really excited. I am also, I am looking to buy a house, y'all. That's how much I love it here in Atlanta. I am ready to settle down and buy me a big girl house. Most of y'all know that I do have an investment property in the Cayman Islands, so I want to buy a property now to live in, and I'm really, ah, really excited. Uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in that, because I do think I would love to bring y'all along the entire journey of that. There's honestly so much that goes into it, taxes and how to like qualify for a loan and like how to find the right house and there's so much that I'm learning along the way of this process. So I'm excited to, you know, take y'all along that little journey as well. So yeah, literally, we're just out here bossing up, living our best life, and yeah, I'm back. This shampoo feels absolutely amazing. It's just a really nice moisturizing kind of consistency, but it sets up really nicely. So I feel like we're getting a really good cleanse as well. Okay, madam. 
Oh, my hair really feels great. So does my scalp and it doesn't feel like it strips my hair. My hair is not crying for moisture. The curls are defining a little bit. It just looks nice and clean and happy. So that shampoo definitely gets a pass for me. So it's time to try the Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. It says Strengthen and Restore. So I'm trying to find out if this actually has protein in it. So repair damage, protect against split ends, reduces frizz with our smart conditioning technology that delivers moisture where hair needs it most, leaving it soft, smooth, and shiny. Yeah, there's nothing on here that specifically says protein. And when I'm looking at the ingredients, I'm not really seeing anything that like fully stands out to me that's like protein. So if there is protein in here, I would think that it's like more of a balanced protein and moisture type treatment. So it has like a typical conditioner consistency. It's lightweight, not like overly super thick but it feels nice, feels like silky, the way that I feel it like on my hands right now. So in a good conditioner, we definitely need some slip, but I also like the consistency so far because I don't necessarily like, especially if it's just a conditioner and not like a mask or a deep treatment or anything, I really like for my conditioners to be nice and lightweight. This is feeling really good and y'all, look at the way the curls are just like curling. That is a definitely a good sign. hair and scalp feel amazing right now and the curls are looking good there's a lot of hair going on here which is again another reason why I'm like is it time to chop <laughs> guys do not kill me I'm not gonna like you know go big chop short but I'm thinking of just like a reshape more of a reshape than a chop chop um, she's cute though I'm not mad at the cute little Bob, just a little bored. Anyways, I'm super excited to try this gel out. So it is an anti-humidity shield styling gel. So it says it's supposed to lock out humidity, which is great for me in Atlanta. It has a flexible hold and it defines curls without any flaking, crunching, or weighing your hair down, which sounds like everything that I look for in a gel. I like hold, but I don't want my curls to be weighed down. We like a little fluff, but we like some curl definition in there too. Like that perfect mix between curl definition and volume is what I hope for in a perfect gel. So let's get into this consistency real quick. This is what it's looking like. It's colored, so it's got a little bit of a creamy aspect to it. Let's see if it has any jelly. Yes, yep, it's got some jelliness to it, which is always a good sign for curl definition, at least for my curls. It's definitely giving me cream gel vibes. Ooh! Okay, this is the best smelling one. This is like, this got fragrance, fragrance in there. It just smells nice and fresh and clean, a little sweet. Mmm, I like that. I like this one. This one is my favorite um, smelling product so far. I guess because it's a leave-in product and they want you to smell good. That was smart. Oh, wait a minute. The curl definition is happening. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. You normally don't really get that from a cream gel, or at least I don't. I don't get hold like right away that's like, dang, okay, the curls are coming into formation like you would with a regular type of gel, but this one is feeling really nice so far because that's the one thing about cream gels that I'm kind of just like, you know what? I would like a little bit more holes. They don't give me a full five to six day wash. I would say cream gels typically give me about anywhere between like a two to four day wash. But I do have a little bit of hope for this one. Uh, usually with gels that kind of foam like this, again, another sign that it's not as much hold as I usually like. But we'll see, we're really gonna, I'm just so curious to see what it's gonna look like tomorrow. We'll definitely have to do a day two ending so we can really see. We are about done. I like to add a little bit of extra gel to these roots. I also like to comb it kind of upward to smooth the product through, back, and then forward again. So it's not like flat. We've got a little volume happening in the front here already. So boom, this is what we're looking like right now. So my hair feels, Heavier than normal for sure. And that's that little bit of creamy aspect that's in there. I'm hoping that because it does still have somewhat of a lightweight consistency that between today and tomorrow, we are able to still get a little bit of volume up in here. And I'm also hoping that the holes will do really well. But so far it looks good and feels really good in my curls. You can see they are clumped, they are defined. So far, so good. I'm just really, really curious to see how this lasts and how it goes when it dries. Okay, so y'all, it's day two. This is how we're looking. 
I'm not crazy obsessed with how this wash and go came out, if I am being completely honest. So the wash day products I love, the shampoo and conditioner, I thought they were really great. The shampoo gave a really good deep cleanse while still kind of moisturizing my curls. My scalp feels really good today as well, which is a sign that the shampoo did what it needed to do. And also the conditioner is not like sitting on my scalp and making it itchy which is great because some conditioners and like heavy masks I noticed can kind of do that. But, so those were great. I really enjoyed those. But the gel, y'all, we're gonna need to talk about this gel. This gel is not for me. It does not give me my desired wash and go. Y'all know me, I like a good mix between uh, volume and curl definition. And in order to get that and get like results that are actually gonna last, you need a decent amount of hold. This, gel gave me no hold first of all it did not dry with a hard cast so my hair is completely fluffy right now but like i can already tell you this is not gonna last me past tomorrow especially since i'll be working out today and tomorrow as well like this is not gonna last me more than three days so yeah let me tell you so what i experienced with this gel is that it kind of weighed my hair down yesterday stifled the curls and I guess that's the way the gel works to kind of define your curls and clump them. And I wasn't like too mad about how it looked yesterday, but then when it was drying, it didn't dry with any type of hard cast whatsoever, which is why I have curls that are, like they're defined, but it's just overly fluffy in my opinion for a day two, a day after wash day, I am supposed to be fluffing, I'm supposed to be crunching out a hard cast. So um, yeah, my main issue here is that this is not gonna last. Also my curls look different. I'm also a little disappointed in the fact that it's not very shiny. Like you see, this does not look like day one curls. They're already kind of fluffing out. Some pieces, like we have one and two curls like here and here that look really good and really shiny and juicy. And then we have like right here, which is just kind of frizzy and not shiny. You see what I mean? Like it's just, it's not giving. It's not giving what I normally go for. And I have definitely used gels that work better in my curls to give me a result that I Prefer. I'm not fully turned off with the brand. I do have a ton of other products actually that I am looking forward to trying. Wash products, great. The gel is not for me, but they do have like leave-in conditioner sprays. I think they had like a braid spray, which is really cool. They had a scalp product, a curl cream. So there's other things in there that I'm definitely willing to try, but unfortunately the gel was a no-go. For me. Yeah, guys, so that's basically gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have personally tried the Madame products. Did you try this gel? What did you think about it? Did you kind of have the same reaction? Did you, or were you absolutely obsessed with it? Let me know in the comments. And also, if there are other brand reviews that you guys are interested in seeing, let me know in the comments too. Yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.